But I did write to Wendy on her vacation, and she was kind enough to send me a letter that she wanted me to share with her. So, here it goes. I am so sorry that I can't be with all of you today as you stand at the site of our new spiritual home. But I wanted to share my thoughts with you and thank Lisa for conveying them to you. Better she should get choked up than me. And then it says in parentheses, smile. So. It, is magical to, it is magical to realize that my mantra of these past years of close your eyes and imagine is finally a vision in front of our eyes. This has been a long time in coming from the town hall meetings and the votes to leave our home on Lockwood Drive from our disappointment over our first time attempt at construction. What I really want to do now is ask each one of you, turn around, turn to your person to your left, to your right, say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Joe. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If you weren't with us all these years, Everybody here must be saying, what is a steel signing? So thanks to them, this is a wonderful idea of how we ourselves can be spiritually involved in building the synagogue. We've, uh, we've seen the videos of the building going up. You see the steel of the social hall and the office space and the library and the lower level classrooms already up. The frame is already up. And now they're ready for the sanctuary frame to go up. So a sanctuary in Hebrew is a mikdash. Kuf Dalit Shin is the root of mikdash, same as Kiddush, Kaddish, holy, sacred space. How do we make the space sacred? Do we just rely on somebody else to build it and then we walk in and it's ready? Why not incorporate some of our feelings and our spirituality of what it means to build this building into the frame of the building itself. Now, the, uh, it says in the Torah, in the Shema, and it's on the doorpost of our homes, write this upon the doorpost of your homes and upon your gates, right? So that we're supposed to keep the laws in front of us all the time, and we write the laws on our house so that we're reminded of our connection to God. So we could write, a, instead of just putting a mezuzah on the building when the building is complete, we're actually going to be writing, not just on the doorpost, but on the frame of the building itself, our own spiritual connection to this building, our religious sentiments. What does it mean to be part of Sharet the Philip Foundation? What does this synagogue mean so to before, us? Before we conclude this part of the service, allow me to uh, say a couple things. One is I wanted to be sure that we all heard what Lisa said about the last page of this booklet. Please take a moment over the next uh, week or so until uh, Yom Kippur to write a letter uh, encapsulating your feelings about what it means to be part of Sharet to Phila now and building a building. And we're going to collect those letters, put copies of them in the cornerstone, hopefully, and have other copies available uh, in the new building as well. And we're going to share some of them if you are willing to share some of your thoughts. I just want to make, make sure that we all uh, heard that. I saw Cantor Levin in the hospital today. Thank God he's doing well. He is very sorry that he could not be here. But of course, you know, he is a very important part of our congregation. And so his, his words are on the beam as well. Uh, as every, uh, to mark, uh, oh, I also wanted to point out uh, that Bob Hammond is here from BGW and his wife. So we want to just acknowledge Bob Hammond. Yeah, hey! So, okay. And we, we also want to point out that there are a couple of uh, 
new members of the congregation who are with us this evening, as well as uh, everybody in between from uh, newer members to veteran members. So that's very exciting to welcome our new members and everybody else here this evening. And so uh, the prayer to recite upon having done something new that has never been done before or something that hasn't been done in a year's time uh, is to recite the Shachianu, the prayer of thanksgiving. So that's on the front of the booklet, of this booklet that has the picture of the uh, architectural picture of the shul. The, the, the Shachianu, so why don't we sing it together? <laughs> to explain the next part of the program again. I want to thank uh, Chapter Wendy for leading us in a service this evening. I want to thank uh, Lisa for planning this whole program this evening. And again, I want to thank the good gentlemen of BGW, John. Hi, Jeff. Hey, Jeff. What's your son's name? Max. Max. All right. The Hadodi, the hymn that welcomes in Shabbat, reminding us of our ancestors in the city of Sfat or Safed in Israel 500 years ago, walking outside the city, looking out over the Sea of Galilee, welcoming in Shabbat this bride and queen. We'll sing together the first two stanzas on 21 and the last two on page 22. very first Kabbalah Shabbat in our new synagogue home. Please take a moment, please take a moment before you leave to stand here with the sun going down and look at that beautiful building coming out of the ground. It's just beautiful to see and I feel very, I feel very proud. I don't know how many others are here, but I'm here with three generations, my parents and myself and my children and seeing all the others with their children and I want to tell, tell you when you go to write these letters those of you that have children that are in other communities please invite them to write their memories of Sheridan Villa because we would like to have those as well.